Hi guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to turn a really old tablet like this or an old phone into a camera that you can use with an NVR or DVR. So for a little context, this is running Android 4 and the most current version of Android as of recording is Android 12 and you can get Android 13 in public betas that have already been released. Even though this tablet is old, it's still functional. The battery still charges, the camera still works, the screen is in good shape. And even with all the functional hardware and the old operating system, it can still run many apps that are available in the Play Store. So the the app that I'm going to be using on this particular tablet is still available for this device, even though it is almost 10 years old, maybe older, and you can still use that on this device and anything newer than this device. So this is going to be pretty straightforward. I'm just going to show you which app to get and how to set that app up. And then I'm going to show you how to connect your DVR to the app. And so you can start using this as a camera. So installing this is easy. Open a Play Store and search for IP webcam and install the app and then open it up. Now, on the main menu, there's a lot of settings that you can use to change the settings on the app, of course, but most of these aren't going to matter for what we're going to be using. We're mostly going to be concerned about what you can do with video preferences menu, and then there's an option to actually start the server once you've changed all the settings. Now, on the video preferences menu, you can set the camera, and I'm going to set it to the front camera on the device so that I can preview the screen by what the actual camera is seeing. And you can also change the resolution and do other things on this menu, but it just allows you to select the camera you want to use. You can still use the back camera. So once you've done that, go back to the main menu and hit start server. And then you should be able to get a preview of what the camera is actually seeing. And there I am with my headset on. Now I'm gonna rotate this guy and then get it into a horizontal mode. And I'm gonna click on more and then I'm gonna tap on RTSP H.264 URLs, and then I'm going to make a note of these URLs, mostly the RTSP URL right there, so I can put that into the DVR and NVR for, that I'm going to be using. So here's a screenshot of what we just saw. You can see out of the box, it's supporting three different endpoints. There's actually more than this that it doesn't actually disclose on this screen. If you were to use the OnVIF web service in a DVR or NVR and use the auto discovery, it will actually show you a list of a number of other endpoints that it supports. And each one of those uses a different encapsulation or codec for encoding the video. Now, the one that we're probably gonna be using for my demo here is this PCM stream, and it's probably gonna work for most DVRs and NVRs. PCM is a pretty common uh, format, and it is a high quality format too, probably better than ULAW. So it's the one I'm going to prefer, but if you want to use this one, you can certainly do that. Now, these URLs all have IP colon port, so you'll need to substitute IP colon port with what it has right here. And this is just your IP address, which in my case is 10.0.2.9, and the default port on this is 8080, but that is a configurable setting that you can configure on the app and you can change it. And so once you have your URLs figured out, then we can go over to the DVR and plug these in there. So once you have the URLs, it's pretty straightforward. Now I'm using Agent DVR, and this is the current display that I have. So I'm gonna go over here to the settings menu for this particular DVR, and I'm going to add a new device. And uh, adding a new device is pretty straightforward. I'm gonna hit new, dev new device right here. And um, now I can select a grid slot, but I'm gonna skip this because I'm gonna add that in a minute to this slot down here. And you can use the network camera wizard. It's got a database of cameras that you can use to configure a new device. And it will even work with this app. It's actually one of the cameras that are in the database. But I'm simply gonna select video source right here and make sure these are all turned on and then click okay. And then uh, for source type, I'm going to come over here to uh, the network camera, and it's going to ask me to supply those URLs that we just saw, which in my case is going to look something more like this right here. Now I'm using a, a different port uh, on mine. I changed the port to uh, 5554, and um, I'm gonna use that for both the live URL and the record URL because this doesn't have two streams. And so I'm gonna click okay for that. And that's going to uh, turn the camera on, and I'm gonna call it tablet camera or I guess I could call it office camera or something like that. And I'm going to add a new location to this. This will just allow me to have a um, new location for my particular camera. Let's give it a color and uh, choose that one there and then uh, click OK. And now I have office selected and um, we can use that. And um, now the rest of this is pretty much the defaults. And so I can just take the defaults for the rest of this stuff and click okay. And then once I have that, I can click okay right here. 
and then I can click OK. And now the camera has been added. Now I need to add it to this right here. So I'm going to click on the edit menu for this and then basically select the cameras that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to bring a tablet camera over here to this guy and click OK. And now it's going to click OK right here. And now it's added to uh, the view that I have here. You can see that I am now added as one of the cameras right here. Now, one last thing I might want to do to this is add it to uh, the detection algorithms that are already in play. So I'm going to copy settings from my garage camera. I'm going to select all. That's basically just going to move all of the object detection and all the, those settings for alerts and so on for notifications uh, to this particular camera. So I'm going to select tablet camera for this destination and click OK. And now my camera is set up and ready to go. You can see that I just detected a person now that I've turned that on. So it's up and running. You can see that I now have six cameras in this configuration. Putting IP webcam on this device is a great way to add another camera to your network, as well as upcycle an old device like this without having to buy a new one. Now, when you put this app on there and it's running, you can set this on a desk and you can still use other apps on the device because IP webcam will run in the background and then you can still use apps in the foreground. So maybe you want it to turn this into like a digital photo frame, or you could put your calendar or the weather on this or use it for some other kind of display. In any case, you can still use the device as a tablet and still have it recording at the same time. Hopefully you've learned something from this about how to upcycle old tech so you don't have to buy new tech and you can just use some old phones that you might have laying around your house for additional cameras for your NVR DVR. In any case, it's always good to upcycle things. If you like this content, please certainly subscribe to the channel and also like the video and share it with your friends and also turn all your devices into new cameras that you can put around your house. If you like this content, please consider subscribing to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button. You can also like this content by clicking on the thumbs up or share this content with your friends and also comment in the comment section down below. You can also find me online at www.blaze.net or on Twitter at The One Mule. And as always, thanks for watching.